Part of our job as a personal trainer is to make sure that our clients are doing squats properly. Problem is, I've seen plenty of personal trainers out there who don't even know how to do squats properly. I'm going to put together this short little video, go over a few key points on how to do a squat. Squats are important because they're a foundational primary movement of exercise which are going to lead to more advanced exercises. So if you're not doing the basic squat right, there is a good chance you will injure yourself when you get to more advanced exercises. Number one rule of exercise and personal training is not to injure our clients, not to injure yourself. So you want to make sure you're safe and doing the squats effectively and as perfectly as you can. Squatting is not hard. It's like sitting on a chair. I want you to picture yourself sitting on a chair. Feet should be square and shoulder width apart. Never let your knees come past your toes. All right, so the first thing I want you to remember, this is the key point right here. If you do this, you'll do a squat right. Get set, get in position, feet square, shoulder width apart. First thing we do is we stick our butt out. Yeah, that's right, stick your butt out. When we tell you to keep a straight back, doesn't mean you can squat like this. That's not how you sit on a chair. Imagine you try to sit on a chair like this. Doesn't work like that. You stick your butt out first, you hinge at the hip, you lower yourself down, you stand back up. So, step one, butt out. Lower down. So now that we know how to place our feet, how to stick our bums out, hinge at the hip and lower ourselves down, let's make sure the upper body is correct position. So I just want you to forget about the chair for a second and watch my upper body. When we squat, our chest needs to stay up, our shoulder blades retracted. So we're going down like this. My head stays up, I'm looking straight ahead. Always can see myself in the mirror if I have one. My chest is up, shoulder blades are back. We don't want to round our shoulders. You'll see this quite often when people start using weights. This is rounding your shoulders. Keep those shoulder blades back. And when you squat, don't bring your head down past your knees. You need to keep everything upright. That's a natural straight back right there. All right, so head, chest up, shoulder blades back. Let's try it with a weight. It should still be the exact same. Okay, so if you haven't tried the squat yet, it's time to try it with me. We'll go through it one more time with all the little pointers. Let's start off, find a mirror, face it. Get your feet square, shoulder width apart. Step one, stick the bum out ever so slightly. Hinge at the hip, lower yourself down, keeping the knees behind the toes, heels flat, toes flat. Keep your chest up, shoulder blades retracted, and head facing forward. Stand right back up. Hand position, if you want to put them in front of you, that's fine. If you want to hold them to your side, that's fine. You might be holding a weight up top. Just remember the points. Feet square, shoulder width apart. Butt out. Hinge at the hip, lower down, keep the knees back past the toes. Heels flat, toes flat, chest up, shoulder blades back, head straight. Breathe out as you stand back up. Down, up, breathe out as you stand back up. All right, so the last piece of advice is for those of you that have perfected the squat and now are trying to get even deeper into the range of motion. One thing you have to remember when you get too deep is to watch out for anterior or front pelvic tilt. What happens with front pelvic tilt is you get so low, you have to use your lower back to bring yourself back up. All that's gonna do is cause a lot of pain and potential damage to the lower back, especially as we get older. I demonstrate it now, but my form is so good, I can't even show you what it looks like. But just remember, if you're squatting low, get yourself right down 
and back up, keeping a neutral position. You're using your glutes, your hamstrings to get you back up. Again, a deep squat will look like this. too low on that one. Oh yeah, use your safety bars in case you get stuck. Good job guys. I want to thank you for watching. You are all now squatting machines. We're going to be doing more of these instructional videos coming up over the, uh, the next few weeks. So stay tuned and um, remember you want to be doing these exercises properly. You want to be doing them safely and we want to make sure that you're getting the, uh, the best results possible out of them. So uh, yeah, thanks again.